We've seen lots of very interesting stuff uh, during the hack days here. Uh, we, ha we have a nice example of how people put building blocks here, in, in this case, uh, very obviously using the Lego blocks, put a DAB uh, radio together. So we at CRC have developed what we call CRC MMB tools. It's a tool set uh, of, of DAB tools for, for multiplexing, modulating, receiving DAB signals, and present uh, new innovative uh, applications. Our goal with that is to uh, promote, uh, let's say, a more organic uh, growth of, of the DAB ecosystem. So I think the challenge now is for radio broadcasters to demonstrate how broadcast radio is as relevant a technology in a digital future as it has been in the past and to start developing digital radio services and hybrid radio services that create great radio and great radio experiences and then take that to manufacturers of digital media devices so they're excited about putting radio into those devices in the future. Imagine uh, you're, you're listening to the radio and the broadcaster wants to interact with the audience. They send this little voting widget to the radio and it pops up a question on the screen. Um, the question we've got here is, is Radio DNS the, the best hybrid radio technology? And then the user can kind of say yes or no to that question and, and that, that information is posted back to the broadcaster so they can see that information live in, in the studio or uh, present it on their website for listeners, for example. Um, and the end user can kind of see that information uh, displayed on, on the on the radio. Uh, many device manufacturers are including radio in their uh, devices. Here at Radio Hack, I'm running a uh, workshop on uh, developing radio applications for Android. One of the problems at the moment is there aren't standardised APIs um, available uh, across all of Android. Um, so it's up to individual device manufacturers to include uh, their own APIs in order to control the radio. Hopefully at some point uh, these APIs can be standardised uh, and then it will be much easier to write radio applications for Android. It's been a great opportunity for us to demonstrate some of the applications that have come out of the Radio DNS project like Radio Tag and Radio Viz and Radio EPG and not just talk about them in theory but also write some code, show people some code samples, get them to explore what they can do with radio on a device with the right kind of software environment and then hopefully they can use that to create something that they can take back to their organisations to get people excited about radio in the future. These um, Radio X days um, I had the opportunity to, to see more close the radio DNS uh, technology. I think it's very nice and uh, it will be very useful to, to, um, to push uh, digital radio. And I think it's not so um, complicated to, to deploy. Uh, so I hope uh, one day we will make it in, in Italy.